Folks, I, I said this yesterday, and I'm going to say it again today. I don't understand the president's foreign policy. I, I don't get it. I, I really don't. It is truly insane that President Biden and his administration are working with Russia. Russia, this is the country with tanks running over Ukraine right now, killing innocent civilians, children, women, people that we care about. And yet they're using those Russians to ne negotiate a deal with yet another one of our near peer adversaries, Iran. And it's not just Russia who's negotiating with the U.S. Um, we can also talk about the, the Chinese Communist Party as well. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. Um, I'll throw in there as well, the Biden administration just released uh, another several billion dollars to the Taliban and the Haqqani terrorist network in Afghanistan. Who are we enabling? This administration continues to give dollars and advantages to everyone who is our near peer adversary. And we are allowing the Re Russians to negotiate with Iran on a nuclear deal. Now, the Iranian regime's funding of terrorism, it sure hasn't changed much, not over the last few decades. They still are the world's largest sponsor, state sponsor of terrorism. I will remind you that the Iranians were the ones that were manufacturing many of the IEDs that killed and maimed American soldiers in Iraq. That's the Iranians, folks. We can't, can't ever expect them to act in good faith. They have continued to enrich uranium through the years. They did that while they were in the Obama Biden nuclear agreement. They continued to do it. They said they wouldn't, but they did. Uh, the JCPOA has always been a bad deal. It's still a bad deal today, especially with the Russians involved. And again, as stated by so many, the timing is especially dangerous right now as the Russians have invaded Ukraine. And instead of unleashing our own energy production here in the United States, we are turning to, again, our adversaries. And we are giving, you know, open consideration to lifting sanctions on Iranian oil instead of producing right here at home and putting Americans to work. Um, this is unbelievable. And just as Senator Risch said, Mr. President, walk away. Walk away from this deal. You know, we have got to do the right thing. And empowering Iran is not the right thing. Empowering Russia by allowing them to serve as negotiators to this deal is not the right thing. We need to take back our standing in the world. And allowing these adversaries to walk all over us is not the right thing for the United States of America, nor is it the right thing for our allies and our partners.